So the light of the Supreme <laughs> has brought to this line. <laughs> he saw a world that is from a world to be. <laughs> that is the greatness of the light of the Supreme. Then he qualifies this sentence by saying, it is not that he saw, rather he divined. Behind. Divine. As the next step, how it should be, what will be divine, which is possibility. There he divined rather than saw or felt, far off upon the rim of consciousness, far off upon the rim of consciousness, that is on the borderline of the unknowable, even beyond the transcendent, far beyond. Transient and frail, all this little whirling globe, and on it left like a lost dream, vain mold, a fragile copy of the spirit cell. So, on the body, it is a copy of the spirit cell. His body gathered into mystic sleep. His body gathered into mystic sleep. Where? Far upon the rim of consciousness, his body gathered into which the sleep, rim of consciousness. He divined divine, his body? No, no divine means uh, visualize, anticipate, uh, probe, explore. No, I mean, I mean, he divined his body? He, Ashwapati, Ashwapati, Ashwapati. This is, that is Ashrapati, he stands for Ashrapati. Yeah, but what he divined? He is asking, he divined what? He divined that world, new world. And the new world? This is the context of the new world. This is the context of the new world. Divined the new world, huh? Yeah. Not the world. He divined the new world. He says, divine. It's not that he saw, he felt, but he divined. It is a much deeper faculty than seeing and feeling. A kind of luminous intuition, far off upon the rim. So his body gathered where? Upon the rim of consciousness, beyond the dream of consciousness. Beyond all this. Fragile copy of the spiritual and See, although the body has now gathered in that space, still the fragile copy of the spirit self, self. It is still fragile. In other words, if the fragility has to go of the body, then it is the divine power herself who should live in the body. Is the body the fragile copy? Yes. It is the body, the fragile copy of the spirit cell. His body gathered into mystic sleep, mystic sleep, could be last time Pradna consciousness, Sushupti, or you might call it the causal consciousness, causal state. Causal state, where from things happen, cause. Causal. His body gathered into mystic sleep. So it is the physical body. You see, your soul may wave, my heart, your feelings, other members of your being may go and do, but physically it has never happened so far in the entire history of evolution. It is for the first time it is happening that the body itself is in that mystic sleep, the physical body. A foreign shape, it seems, it 
that body. So, because it is so alien, so new, something altogether different, which is uncommon, most uncommon, as if it is foreign, as if it does not belong to this world. In fact, it does not belong to this world. Yet, it has to be in this world. A mythic shade, mythic shade or the spirit cell. So, his physical self has entered into the causal state. Your Atma, your Self, your Soul, etc., etc., may, but the physical body entering into the causal state, that is the new. This is something far beyond Samadhi. You see, people say that I am in a state of Samadhi. Samadhi, our physical body, we can't still say that. It is not a trance, it is full of knowledge, full of luminosity, you see. A foreign shape, it's same, that body itself, obviously because it is not a very common thing at all here, it is never there at all, kind. So, against this law of perfection, he is now seeing vis-a-vis the physical body and this world. That was the whole issue, you see. Alien now same that dim, far universe. That new world where it was there. Self and eternity alone were true. Because that world is not there only. What remains now only? Atman, self and eternity, Brahman. Alone, nothing. A kind of a totally blank. Then, so in the total blank, then memory climb. You see, this is what we talked last time. Then memory climb. Ashwapati has come here for a certain purpose. He has come with a mission. Pardon me? This far universe, far universe, and then now seems a dim far universe. What is this? Universe? That new world, whatever you were saying, all that, yes, yes. Now it seems yes, 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 everything gone completely. The entire manifestation, you were even saying. But this is our manifestation, this is our entire, Everything, whatever is there in manifestation, even the transcendent, even the new world, everything seems very far now because the body has gathered into sleep. So the far universe is everything, all the manifestation? That, everything. Ah, not only the new world. That, no, nothing. That is why only self and eternity. So nothing manifested. You only see a Atman, that's all, self alone and Brahman alone. No manifestation, no creation. No movement, nothing. He is in the unmanifest actually. We can't say even that. Ah. We can't even say that. Because it looks like to me he is in the unmanifest. No. Everything is a, you just imagine that the entire creation is out totally and what remains is only the matrix of self. It's dark then or what kind of feeling does this? Well, I mean, <laughs> it, it is a kind of a blank. Nothing is there. Nothing is there, no? no? But is there joy or anything? No. Only self and eternity. How does this feel? Now, how? Well, where is me? There is no question of that also. No, because what remains is the only Atman, self, alone. Self is there, still. Yeah, but how does it feel? Self no, it is, must feel uh, wonderful. Wonderful. Of course, if like uh, uh, he, he is with his self. <laughs> hey, the self Atman, 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 Atman alone. Atman is Satchitananda. No, not even Satchitananda. Uh, not even Satchitananda. Self alone. Yeah. But self alone means yeah, it's bliss. Satchitananda is a manifestation. But he is in a kind of a bliss state, is it? Yes, he is alive, but who is there to feel and all that? Nothing is he there. cannot feel. Uh, Nothing. So it's a little bit like a nirvana, or is it a bliss state? It is a kind of a blank featurelessness. Featureless. Featurelessness. Featurelessness. Right. Sans caractéristique, without any. Nothing is there. Featurelessness. So that is, but that is a state. That is a state. You see, the, the, we are seeing from our point of view, it is a frightening state, but it is a state. Now, 
it is what is what we call nirvi kalpa there is no feature no uh, the, uh, uh, contour no imagination nothing is there say nirvi kalpa nirvi without any formation completely it is a state now it is out of that mean it is a kind of a total purity and if something has to come out it will come out as a total purity now it is such a state that i mean uh, uh, you can get lost merge disappear from this creation completely but in the case of ashrapati there is a memory no i can't go away into that blank universe self and eternity alone are there i don't want to go like like uh, the experience of the buddha everything has disappeared he would enter into nirvana so nothing is there yeah. but then he is uh, conscious that he has not come here to enter and disappear into nirvana so he steps back amitabh he steps back he says that i have work to do here so that is the kind of a memory also with buddha actually he is one step away from dissolution is it it is self person again into the one personal dissolution yes exactly personal he is one step away yeah finished of Laya. again go out of the manifestation of the unmanifest yeah, yeah. and then he dissolves himself again into the one right. but there must be an entire bliss yeah. with you, state you you are you're out of manifestation totally totally out of manifestation here yeah, yeah. that is what happened that would have happened in the case of buddha had he stepped into nirvana he would have gone out of manifestation last time i told you also in the case of savitri also same thing happened yeah yeah but she went there consciously no no that was the experience consciously all right no annul herself totally dissolve yes totally into god totally dissolve into god but then she says no i can't do that there is a memory in her that he had taken this birth for a purpose what has to disappear what has to get dissolved is all the externalities the central issue should not get lost all the other externalities they should disappear totally you see so that memory is important is a very crucial factor factor, factor here you see then memory climb from the striving plane that he had come up all the way from this struggling world this plane striving planes on the cosmic scale in the case of the individual his body is there his mind is there his vital is there all the other elements are there they say what are we for here what are we here for why we have come here for there is a kind of an insistence of these parts we have come here we are in existence here to serve a certain purpose how can you disappear then memory climb to him from the striving plane bringing a cry of one's loved cherished thing yes all the dear things etc etc back and to the cry as to his own lost call ray replied from the oracle supreme because they cry there is a there is there is a response though that cry the oracle you want to merge merge but when they cry then there is a response also why there is a response from the oracle supreme to the cry for the cry there is a reply from the supreme why because even there the boundless oneness dwells this and that that oneness is never lost it is there always that boundless oneness so the whole key is in this oneness of the entire manifestation and non manifestation also <laughs> for even there the boundless oneness dwells 